What's up guys, Mike here. Welcome back to Game Dev with AI. Our experiment we are, de we are developing the first real-time strategy game with the help of AI without any coding skills whatsoever. Well, maybe you might need a little bit of help because sometimes you face quite quite difficult tasks but all in all I have no programming skills and I keep on going and developing it so follow my progress and see what we got for you here today in this quick video we are gonna be adding the interactive live tutorial or help how you want to call it I really didn't want it to be like a boring help like they do in video where the NPC is appearing and saying, hi Lord, please <laughs> learn about my <laughs> backstory for 20 minutes and then go here, go there. I really wanted to, it to be quick, up to the point, very dynamic and fully playable. So you're not watching help, you're playing help. This will be a four, sta four stage map. Basically, it's a playable map, which will be played when the player is new to our game which explains step by step how the game works and all the gameplay I'll quickly show you and then explain how you did it and at the end of the video I'll play this whole help with you it's quite quick so you can see how it all works so the first step we are going to be explaining uh, the player what uh, the concept is the concept of our game is the same as in my favorite old school real time strategy game called Z, developed in 1996 by Beat My Brothers. That was my favorite game when I was a child, still in school, and I still remember this idea of capturing the flag. So I inspire, I got inspired, and I used similar idea. Well, it's also used in many other games such as Company of Heroes. It's not a revolutionary new concept but I really like it so we don't collect minerals we don't gather the wood or gold all we need to do is to capture the flags and once we capture the flags our production goes faster and production is fully automatic so we don't need to click it like in comment and conquer games you click then you produce five robots and here they just keep on producing all you need to do is just select put a rally point and use them and of course you can upgrade the factories and get stronger units that is what explained in the first step plus you encounter your first enemy here so you just feel a little bit of interactions next if we click this next button we go to the next layer it's not a layer it's the same layer just a new page here we explain the concept of our fort. Our fort is the heart of our base. So if you lose the fort, this is a lose condition. So the game is over. So you have to protect your fort at all costs. To do so, we have artillery that we can drag and drop around the fort. And there is a special limit. You cannot just drag it into the enemy base. So you can pick it up and drag it around, establish the perimeter, establish your defenses. Plus, you introduce to the mobile artillery. This one you can move around the map and then unload. And the artillery will pop up in that place. Plus, here we'll have some zombies spawning a little bit later. So you will see that we are introduced the concept of zombies coming of the graveyard. If we hit next, we go to the next page. Here, we are introduced to the concept of capturing vehicles. One of the biggest and game mechanics of our game is that you can snipe out the driver of the enemy vehicle, which is very helpful if you are fighting against a strong tank. In many other games, if you have an infantry and they face the tank, there is no chance. This interac interaction is very boring because your infantry is completely helpless and the tank just shoots them out. In our game, and it was also in original Z, you can shoot, snipe out, you can kill the enemy driver and this way the tank becomes disabled neutral and you can quickly capture it with your units so you can start fighting using their tank and this is exciting mechanics that I've never seen in many other games it's quite difficult to make I guess so we have it here already developed if you remember and here we show the player how to do it we introduce one more flag 
just to reinforce the idea of capturing the flex and of course we introduce to the nuclear silo which is a cherry of the power of our game once you capture the silo every say like 30 seconds or so the more flags you have the faster you have a nuclear bomb produced and then you can drag and drop it on the heads of the enemies to have some fireworks finally we introduce to the concept of the explodable destructible rocks so they are blocking pathfinding but if you destroy the rocks you can pass and the final one is here destruction of enemy fort you don't see it right now because I'm not playing and I don't want the fort to spawn too early otherwise uh, it starts producing enemies and they ruin my health tutorial so this will spawn later in, in the tutorial not right away it will spawn only we are already getting to this stage I hope it makes sense and it will spawn a lot of more enemies as well so when I play it you will recognize that here we have a lot of enemies automatically spawn in this map all right what else we need to get started with this we need basically some assets as always with me joining we prepare some military papers and when I'm recording this it's still early stages of my journey so it's terrible with text it's just writing mom 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 dom 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 complete nonsense so we'll have to erase this nonsense text with Dali so I'm selecting a couple of good maps for our Dali and for text we can also use other AI tools for example Adobe Firefly has some text effects for example, you can write here your word and Adobe Firefly will give you some ideas of what it can be done. For example, I can choose Steampunk and you can generate the style right away in front of your eyes. This is really amazing how it's doing it. But so far it's only stylizing your fonts. It's not going to be like create original fonts. Maybe later me join another AI tools will be already offering much cooler tools. So we'll update this later. This is just a temporary solution. Then we use DALI to combine all four together because we need a long image and we erase the seals so it becomes seamless. We erase the seams between them as you can see it became super long but resolution is pretty bad so we need to go to some upscaling tools for example image enhancer and then we can scale it up we can enlarge it two times and then the quality will be amazing and it's ready to implement to our game finally we create new help layout and this layout like all others so far we'll use the same sheet because uh, though it's different help it's a tutorial but still it's a playable tutorial so it must obey the same rules as other so we can control the units however there will be some changes here i'll show you first of all we introduce max scroll because when I let my daughter play the help, she started to scroll right away to see what's to the right, to see the enemy base. So we don't want the player to see the next step before they complete the previous one. That's why every tick I'm checking camera. And if the player moved it too much to see what he's not supposed to do, we return him back. We don't want the player to scroll all the way before he completes the previous stage okay here we set the music as always feel free to pause i'm not going to be reading this for you and otherwise it will take half an hour so just pause and then see what you're interested in maybe you'll find something helpful like i always say this takes few days sometimes weeks for me to make so this is not something i can do in real time for you now we have a close button so we just close if we don't want help and now we have specific just for this layout so if this layout is help so these conditions will be only working on this layout and will be ignored on our playable maps so you can see on first stage i set max scroll to 1400 pretty short distance that's all our first page 
I hide the right arrow button because we don't want them to go to the next step before they complete the previous one. Then I wait a few seconds and I ran the AI lady voice saying welcome commander this is um, time of the essence it's time for you to capture the flex and the main resource is at that time so it really starts to explain everything and then I have this helpful object uh, the mission objective appearing it's called help capture flex it's basically just showing your objective like capture flex it's an animation which is only seen during the help then we set it size and animation we wait a little bit and we just show also target help and this one it shows the target and if you're wondering where i got this you can buy such things on the website called motion array you can subscribe for their paid plan and then you can buy license to things like this which is very helpful and you cannot do this with ai so just get it legally from websites that provide you stock to use so here uh, we have to babysit every step compared to other maps where we give full freedom to, for player to play as he wants here we have to babysit him every few seconds we trigger new events so this is very scripted map compared to all others so every step we need we give the player something to do and guide him through the whole process as you can see then we spawn the enemy and he starts walking and then we're supposed to kill him and then for the next stage we start spawning objects that you didn't see before for example graveyard that's the reason because we don't want graveyard and zombies appear too early otherwise they will start fighting with somebody else remember this is a fully interactive game so i cannot stop zombies from fighting before we see them so they will be acting naturally so i spawn them only when i need them here and finally when player completes uh, the first step we have this right arrow button appearing and we're telling the player to click it so once he click it I change the stage which is an instant wearable of the right arrow to uh, to next one where is this somewhere here ah here stage to one and then I also make robot factory rally points so the new robots will start working right otherwise they'll be always standing and player will forget about them and I change max scroll again allowing player to scroll more and finally i move the camera with the whoosh to the right to make sure the player is looking where he's supposed to look and also i do it a few more times here um, because sometimes when i saw how my daughter is playing it she was moving the camera back somewhere for some reason to grab more units and she wasn't paying attention on the tutorial so i have to forcefully scroll to the right and show the player what he's supposed to learn instead of just scrolling somewhere around and that's pretty much it and the same way we complete the next stages i'll quickly scroll them down for you in case you want to pause there's nothing no rocket science here just fully scripted uh, level which explains player how to do it step by step and finally he's supposed to naturally destroy the enemy fort and complete the tutorial and hopefully enjoy the game understand how it works and get hooked so that's all for today guys if you like what you see that was always let me know in the comments below what we should do next and let's build some community around it if we can get some great community going on maybe we continue our developments and add more things to the game because this is what makes me going when you're developing your first game especially alone it's very low motivation you're not paid to do this you're doing it fully from your passion so it's very interesting to see if people like it then you get more inspired to continue so every comment counts let me know don't hesitate take care cheers mike out greetings commander time is our only resource grab those flags expand your territory and boost production let the games begin
After seizing the factory, it'll produce Let's units for you like clockwork. Feel free to click and level up the factory tech. Sure, the upgrade takes time and hits pause on production. But in the end, you'll get beefed up units. It's your move, Commander. The enemies are closing in. Stand your ground and protect our flag at all costs. Let's rock and roll, Commander. Hit that next button and let's get this show on the road. The fort is the lifeblood of our base, so guard it with everything you've got. Just drag and drop artillery near the fort to fortify the surroundings and keep intruders at bay. The fort doubles as a support unit factory, bolstering our forces. The more flags you capture, the quicker those units roll out, so stay on the move and keep expanding. Drag and drop the turret. Rock and roll. The graveyard is a zombie spawning nightmare. Obliterate it to put an end to the undead menace once and for all. We got the power to move and deploy your versatile mobile artillery as Ready well. For action, sir. Let's get to it. Ready to rock, Game sir. over, man. Seize those empty vehicles and tanks to beef up our forces. And don't forget to capture the nuclear silo to kick off the nuke production. When it's all set, just drag and drop the nuke target onto the enemy's heads and let the fireworks begin. Nuke them all. Nuclear silo is ours! Feel free to smash those pesky rocks and clear a path straight to the heart of the enemy base. Standing by, sir. Unit ready. Affirmative. Moving out. Ready to Let's rock, sir. Let's nuke them all. Need coffee, sir. There it is, our grand prize. The enemy base. Demolish their fort to complete our mission. Ready to rock, ready. You can scroll back to your factory to grab more units if they are ready. Demolish their fort! Victory is ours! Well done! We are the champions! Enemy fort eliminated, sir! Mission accomplished!